What is good guys, Yugi here to bring you a new video and this is one I have been so hyped for for months since it got announced and that is we are here to talk about Eden Zero, my favorite mangaka's new manga and that would be Hiromashima guys, uh, sorry let me adjust the camera a little bit, uh, that would be Hiromashima and apologies if you hear my air conditioner, this is South Carolina and it is 104 degrees outside again, so we have the AC blasting, so let's get right into it, we get a lot of beautiful color spreads. Uh, of Eden Zero and the new character art looks fantastic say what you will about it, it looks like fairy tale more personally to me it looks more like rave master which is also fantastic but we get a bunch of cool scenes of Shiki who is the one of the new main characters because as uh, Hero has done for a long time now it is two main characters and a pet uh, and it's usually a male and a female and the female seems to be the lead character this time with our little friend Happy the Cat, who will be introduced later on in the chapter. But for the most part, we get introduced to Shiki and have a kind of flashback at his interactions with his grandfather that we will later find out is the Demon King, which is uh, actually a robot for the theme park that he grows up in. But for the beginning, we have Rebecca, who is the Lucy character, uh, showing up on Grand Bell, which is uh, a star theme park uh, in the Sakura Galaxy, I believe. Um, and she is seeming to be their version of a YouTuber, which is kind of funny and cool. But we have this big grandiose um, theme park full of robots. It basically looks like a robotical magnolia that's been turned into a theme park. Uh, the suits for the guard armor uh, very much resembles the guards in Magnolia. Or uh, specifically, not Magnolia, in... Um, Whatever the capital of the Fiori Empire is, I forgot what its name was, um, the City of Flowers. But we get this bunch of cool scenes and we find out her, uh, the Blue Cat channel is her and Happy's uh, YouTube channel. I'm just going to call it a YouTube channel. And uh, she wears cute little cat ears while she does it. Uh, but we do get introduced to uh, both of them uh, uh, really early on in the manga. I'll put uh, pictures uh, on one of the sides here of what they look like now. Right about uh, now, we get very cute and pictures of her and Happy, and we get introduced to Shiki as a, I guess you would say adult. He's not really an adult. I would say he's more along the lines of like uh, Natsu and Lucy were uh, in Fairy Tale around 17. Uh, Natsu was actually 417, something like that. Uh, and Shiki may very well be actually 100 years old. Uh, because we don't actually get Shiki's age, and it's said that Shiki is the only human they have seen for a hundred years, um, which may stand to reason that Shiki is a hundred years old, and when he's first introduced, his look is a lot like Madara, which is kind of funny, um, but overall, their interactions are great. It's a whole lot like Natsu and Lucy. He even gropes her and looks up her skirt at some point, but then he sticks out his hand in a very funny fashion and asks, will you be my friend? And that seems to be Shiki's goal throughout the entirety of this manga. It's going to be um, looking for friends. We find out at the end of this uh, chapter, I'll explain upon it when we get there, that Shiki is uh, the one that has been taking care of all the robots for the better part of a century, I guess, if he turns out to be 100 years old, or just since he was old enough to do so. Or at least so he thought. But once we get introduced to the Demon King, not the Demon King, the... Uh, regular king knight of the uh, kingdom that is the robot that plays that role of course because this is a theme park and he looks like the Edelus version of Makarov uh, which is kind of cool the design-esque of his armor and all of this robotic-esque stuff in this chapter is very cool I love it a lot it's a very different kind of feel from the magic -y we had with fairy tale it's a whole lot more like um, Rave Master which had more technology in it and more focused on like tools having the power uh, or drawing the power from the person because when we find out what uh, Shiki's power is when he goes to confront everyone, the king and all that, it is called a uh, ether gear and he possesses more than one ether gear apparently because Happy refers to what gives him the power as an ether gear and at a point while he is fighting and if, after he defeats the king I believe uh, he rescues Happy and Rebecca from the king and its collapsed town, and he is said to have something called a gravity gear, which allows him to have somewhat flight, 
Uh, but in the mix, we do get some very emotional scenes from Rebecca saying, uh, being friends goes beyond uh, humans or machines, because um, Shiki keeps saying that all the machines are his friends, and they keep telling him no, because they are operating, trying to make Shiki leave. We have some very Natsu-esque fights uh, with fodder uh, machines, but a uh, very cool little pattern appears on his hands uh, when we get to his uh, ether gear, and it gives him insane strength. It doesn't really look like magic. It just looks like uh, he's using brute force when he uses his ether gear, which he is apparently extremely powerful. Either that or uh, the, even the king is just fodder tier because when the king goes in to attack, Shiki just says, my name is Shiki, punches him once in the chest and destroys him. Um, and this is where Happy uh, rescues Rebecca because they're getting ready to burn her at the stake. He says, nothing's matched for my power, and he claws and cuts it like he always does, even in Fairy Tale. But uh, he gives insane strength. He's even able to cling onto walls like Spider Man and all kind of stuff. And they say it's the power from the Dark Ages. Uh, I really can't wait till we get elaborated on to what the Ether Gears are. Uh, it's very interesting. I can't wait to see that. Overall, overall, this is a really, really cool manga. The art in this is spectacular, as always, from Hiro Mashima. I'm not sure whether this is a monthly manga or not, but I hope it's weekly, uh, like Fairy Tale was. It'll be great. Um, yet, and well, hey, excuse me, guys, stumbling over my words here. Okay, uh, while they're levitating in the air, uh, Happy basically is explaining it. I think it's Happy. It might be uh, Shiki, but when he asks where their ship is, Shiki is able to move the magnetic poles of his ability and cause them to fly uh, to their ship which is like the polar wing or the aqua wing or something like that it basically looks like a flying duck and we find out here that the aqua wing is the aqua wing takes off and that it is not just a mere ship it is a spaceship and when we see earlier in the chapter um, talking about the stars in the sky and that they live in the Sakura Cosmos, and they have now entered space. Um, but they also see when uh, Shiki's like yelling out, you know how they do, like trying to get his friends to see him and hear him when they can't really because he's in space. He sees something flying by, and it is indeed a dragon, which is what his grandfather called uh, shooting stars. So yes, there in fact are dragons, and it looks very cool. It's kind of actually Kingdom Hearts esque. The design of this dragon it looks very like Keyblade, uh, but it's very very cool. Uh, and I really 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 love the art of this chapter. And actually, this is where the chapter ends uh, after a little bit of internal monologue from all the robots, and we find out that they were doing that because the Demon King asked. For them to send Shiki to space because he will be the one to save the universe from something or the one to change the universe uh, after their demise. So apparently they have been protecting Shiki for who knows how long uh, and now their mission is over. They have finally sent Shiki to space and I absolutely love this. I cannot wait to read more. This was a great manga. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought about this in the comments. So Yugi signing out. Peace, guys.